Think about the importance of being invested in the ministries that are happening at your church, both for your kids and your teenagers and for you. There are so many potential benefits to your kids being involved, and, and you know many of them. Hopefully your kids can make connections and build relationships with a few adults who really care about them and will encourage them in their faith. Maybe they're going to build some solid relationships with friends who will be walking in the same direction in their faith. Hopefully your kids and teens are learning more about God and how to walk with Him every day, gaining the tools and building the skills that will help them for a lifetime. So as you think about being more invested in both your, your personal faith and in the faith of your kids, remember that you have people at your church who want to partner with you. There are staff and volunteers who have given their, their life to helping you and your kids. Support them and encourage them as they seek to support and encourage your family. Be involved. Make participating in the life of your church a top priority in your life and in your kids' lives as you head into the fall. Be thinking about how you can build your family schedule and your rhythm around making your faith development and the faith development of your kids a top priority, not just something you give time to on the occasional Sunday. Begin to talk to your kids about their involvement in the church as the school year approaches, almost making it kind of a given that they're going to be there. And if that might be a hard sell for your kids, encourage them to give it a try for at least a season. There are so many ways for you to be invested in this life of faith that your family gets to live. And I would encourage you as you finish out the summer and as you head towards the fall to begin to develop a plan for how you are going to continue to grow in your own faith and how you're going to lead your kids to be where you want them to be.